the heartbreak and sadness of losing my first command was extreme. What's going on guys, it's Dom, aka Kit Thunder 2, aka Captain Kimbro, and I'm here to tell you guys about how I lost my first command, my lessons learned, what I would do different, and what you could do different, and how to value more things in your life. Bottom line up front, I lost my first command because of overconfidence, arrogance, and a lot of naivety. A quick story of what happened. I had secured the command. I'd interviewed. I was number one out of 26 coming into this uh, brigade um, as a logistician. The person that was, I guess, my, not my direct sponsor, but a higher level sponsor per se, uh, I told this individual that, hey, I would like to switch commands. I would like to go a different command because right now I'm paying $180 a month for my stuff that's in storage. Because here in Korea, there are certain places where you have to live on post. If I have to live on post, that means I'm continuing to pay $180 a month for um, storage, right? And I want to move my stuff out of storage so I can save money. When I said that, it was looked at as being not dedicated. I don't want to be at the unit. Um, I don't want the job. There were, there were many things that were said about me. Whether or not those things are true is a whole different story. What I want you guys to know is how I could have avoided that. The number one way I could have avoided any of this whole situation is understanding the job that I was interviewing for, right? When you're interviewing for command, you have to realize that you have soldiers' lives in your hand. And if you even take that a little bit not serious or you take it as something that's not as high of value, then it could be perceived that you are not the you are you're not the person they're looking for. Okay, um, different commands mean different things, and they they all involve different types of personalities. So I understand why they thought what they thought, because I, I understand why they thought what they thought. The second thing wish I would have known, right, is understanding the command that I was that I was interviewing for, understanding that certain things just aren't a right fit, okay? Um, interviewing for somewhere that has a low possibility for uh, living uh, off post probably wasn't the right thing. If in the beginning, in the first interview, at the end of the first interview, I stated, hey, um, right now, I have stuff that's in storage. If if you guys were to offer me a command, can you please slot me somewhere where um, I uh, can live off post? I think if that would have happened in the very beginning, I would have let them know my stipulations. I either, number one, wouldn't have got the command. I wouldn't have been offered the command. Or number two, uh, they would have just slotted me with somebody else that was lower because they gave me the number one command Whereas they could have gave me like the number three command, which is at somewhere where I could have lived off post supporting myself and I wouldn't have had to pay 180 bucks a month. Those are the two things right there. So what I learned from this whole experience is that command is extremely important. I was not valuing command. I did not value command because every command I think I've been I've interviewed for, I have been offered from recruiting commands to FSCs to anything. Right, every command I, I interview for, I got. I just have a very interesting time picking commands that I wanted to go to. Right, I've learned a lot, I've grown a lot, and I hope that um, from this video, you guys, you guys learn that you know every command isn't for you, and to truly understand the job that you're interviewing for, because it's just that easy. They could take it from you, um, and or think of you in a way that you don't want to be thought of. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you guys hit me up on Instagram at KIDTHNDR2 or Snapchat at KLOP95. And like I always like to say at the end of all my videos, don't live the same year, 75, 80, 85, 90 times and try and call it a life. My name is Dom, aka Captain Kimbro, aka Kid Thunder 2, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.